This is Bill and this is my RV10 project. I'm in the, building it in my basement and I bought the uh, plane around door latch system. Uh, there are problems with uh, the system. The biggest problem is the instructions which are simply uh, terrible. I put the two doors on the bench side by side so I could lay out and identify the parts and uh, label them. Um, <clears throat> biggest problem is again the instructions. They are poorly written there is no diagram none of the parts are labeled and the photographs are simply well not very helpful we're going to start first of all by not cutting the van supplied racks according to the van's instructions which would have you cut them into three pieces you're going to cut the door racks in half per the plane around instructions to actually start on page 4509 and follow the van's instructions on building the door handle. Likewise, 4510, follow the van's instructions here on 4512, I'm sorry, 4511. That's, don't follow the instructions, don't cut that, that rack. And uh, finish up on 4, 4511 and then 4512, you're gonna set aside the van supplied uh, pin blocks, use the, um, pin block supplied by plane around here on 4513 this part c1008 is uh, stamped you have to smooth and flatten or straighten this part and i did that by placing it on a couple of wood blocks and using a c-clamp to squeeze down and uh, flatten or straighten that piece now likewise you're going to have to curve or bend your door pins to match the curvature of the bottom of the door. And I did that by placing the pin on top of a couple of blocks with the clamp and squeezing down. You can spread the blocks or, or bring, uh, bring the blocks together and move your C-clamp along the pin to get the proper curvature. Uh, you know, that system worked pretty well for me. And to finish up on 4513, 4514 is a great diagram of the overall project. And what you're essentially doing is putting in the uh, plane around door latch mechanism about right here in the door. You're adding a rod. <clears throat> and it's really not as complicated as the instructions seem to make it to, out to be. And then finish up with 4515. And you're basically done with the van's instructions and pretty much the plane around instructions as well. As well. Except what you're doing here with the plane around instructions is cutting this hole in the bottom and then this slot and that allows this uh, mechanism to slide into place here okay you're also cutting a hole here per the plane around instructions that allows you to insert a pin to connect this <coughs> rod uh, this uh, rack and this rod through that hole and you're going to use one of these temporary pins attach a safety wire to it so you can retract it problem with this rod is that it's fairly soft aluminum and it's a challenge to install the pin and you can end up bending this rod in installing and removing the pin so you've got to make sure the pin enters uh, is it fits easily into that hole and through this hole and note that it's a little larger than all the other holes these are the only two large holes and it's the only one that uses a large pin but you got to make sure that that pin will fit in there smoothly <clears throat> so you don't bend that rod another problem is that because these racks are longer than vans intended when you retract the pin this rack moves back goes into this hole which you're going to cut and then bumps up against the fiberglass uh, fiberglass there and one solution that uh, playing around suggests is that you cut and then smooth the end of the rack so you don't bump up again well I think you're still going to have interference so what I did instead was to move the handle mechanism uh, forward 
in the door. Fan says center this piece up in the middle of the door. And you, when you do that, you will get interference back here at the back of this uh, rack. So I move the mechanism forward about a quarter of an inch. It's hard to tell. It's not much of a, of a movement, but move this uh, forward a little bit and you won't get interference or as much interference here. A quarter of an inch or three eighths from dead center in the well will reduce or eliminate the interference there. And that'll save you some time and effort. Now, from uh, beginning to end, rear pin, rear pin block. This is the block. Hopefully you can get a good look at it and identify which is the rear pin block. Rear pin. Now, playing around <coughs> suggests that you shorten this pin, which you're going to have to do, by cutting this end and then creating a new slot and new pin holes. I think it's easier to install the whole mechanism, retract the pin as far as you can, uh, as far as it'll go, and then mark the end of the rod and then cut the rod here. And again, noting the angle of that cut. And I think that's just much easier than trying to make a precise slot and precise holes at this end. Now, you don't have to worry, really worry about the position of this mechanism when you install the parts because this latch is going to be installed on top of that pin and then locked in with that uh, Allen screw. Now, you're going to install the small pin there through small holes in this rod and this rack. You're going to have large hole on this um, rack and the rod which is already installed here. This is the a plain around supplied rack. It's longer than the two racks that you're going to make from the Vans rack. Again, plain around rack, Vans racks. And again, install the pin through the hole in the rack and the rod through that hole. And then over here, Vans rack, Vans rack, and through in, in inside the fiberglass here is a rack with a small hole, pin with a small hole, pins inserted and safety wired. Here is the forward block, pin block, and you'll have to cut quite a bit of material off of it to get it to fit, but hopefully that'll help you identify the forward rack uh, block, a uh, pin block. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully that helps you identify all the parts and gives you the big picture of what this project is uh, going to look like. Anyway, enjoy. Have fun with your project.